morning, everyone. My name is Arhan. And my name is Tejaswini. And we are, we are your hosts for this whimsical Wednesday. Um, so first up, on, uh, to start off the morning, we have the IG2 choir who will be singing the KC anthem for us. Join in singing. Pleased to announce the results for KCMUN, which took place on August 9th and 10th. This event brought together a dynamic group of students who demonstrated exceptional skills in diplomacy and debate. So I would like to take the privilege to invite Miss Mira, the secondary school principal, to present these delegates with their award. So from the historical committee, we have best delegate that goes to Vanshika Sarin of IB1. <laughs> then we have high commendation for Susanna Archie Manikam of IB1 as well. Yeah. All right. Then honorable, honorable mention to Ion Jane of grade 10. Special mention to Adik S of IB1. And from the current committee, we have best delegate Arjun Dendukuri from IB1. <laughs> High commendation Vayuri Gauda from IB1. Honorable mention Mohit Ganorkar from IG2. And special mention Sridhar Gupta from IG2. I'd also like to invite Ananya of grade 7, who represented KC and won two gold and one silver in the under-14 ISSO national swim meet held in Pune last week. There were 630 participants in all age categories. Could you tell us how your experience was competing against so many athletes? Uh, the experience, I learned a lot through this competition and I've been uh, going for this uh, ISSO for the past two years. 
last year I won three silvers and this year I won two golds and one silver. There are many, uh, I lo there are many participants from different areas and uh, from like different places in the country and it, it was I insightful to learn, um, to, to see so many participants participate in uh, such different events, such young and um, old people. Next, we would like to invite Drishti Kotari of IG, IG2, who won three gold medals in the 49th Tamil Nadu Shooting State Meet competition in 25 minutes. Um, yeah, um, Drishti, can you share with us how you stayed focused and motivated throughout your training and what advice you would give to those who are pers pursuing their own goals? I stayed motivated and focused because I did practice a lot of breathing and techniques. And I advise, uh, I advise everyone here to be calm and patient during your matches and whatever you're pursuing. Thank, Thank you. you. We would also like to invite Siddharth George who has won the gold medal for under 18 national kiteboarding championship. What inspired you to take up kiteboarding and what was the most important lesson you learned on your journey to winning the national championship? So my journey, my journey to winning the national championship started when I was in lockdown and I was, I was inspired by my uncle and his friends uh, in his beach resort where I learned kite surfing throughout lockdown and I started by uh, repairing kites which helped me learn the structure of them and which helped me control the kites later on. And this is actually the third tournament which I've gone to, but the past two there's never been a, a under 18 category. So I'd had to uh, participate in the men's fleet where both times I had to be res rescued by a rescue boat. Mm -hmm. And this time I also, like on the first day, I had to get rescued by the rescue boat and I thought, that it would be a repeat of the last two tournaments. But um, I ended up winning for the next two days, every race, and I ended up winning first place after tallying all the points. Um, um, and finally, we would like to invite Samyukta Srinivasan, who won a gold and two bronze in the International Silambam Championship. She also got appointed as an assistant trainer in her training academy. Uh, so, Samyukta, uh, would you like to tell us how you'd want to use this opportunity for the future? Uh, Silambam is an ancient sport which is not very popular these days. It's an upcoming sport. So, I would like to promote it and um, inspire more people to learn it. So, now moving on. Uh, recently, our class embarked on a trip to Auroville Pondicherry where we delved into the topic of sustainability. To bring our experiences to life, we're thrilled to present an interactive play that reflects what we discovered during our trip. As you watch, you'll have the chance to engage with the themes and ideas about sustainability that we encountered in Auroville. So get ready to participate and learn in a fun and interactive way. Let's dive into our play and see how we can all make a difference. Please join me in welcoming grade 10 as we take you on this exciting and educational journey. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. If, how are you, sir? If you're fine, then I'm fine, sir. Then we're all fine, sir. Yes, sir, that extension you were talking about. Sir, can I have an extra day, sir? So please, sir, sir, sir. So what do you mean I always ask for it, sir? So one more day, please, please, please. Sir, hello. Cut the call on you. Rahul, are you okay? What does it look like? You look really stressed. I have an idea. What is this brilliant idea of yours? So you know my friend Gopal in Oroville, right? Yeah. So I was thinking that you could come with a trip with the both of us and you could find peace there. That's actually a brilliant idea. When are we going? Uh, we can go by tomorrow. Brilliant. Yeah, let's go. Ah, uh, hello. Uh, is, is this Ramaswamy? Uh, this is Ramaswamy. Yeah, hey Ramaswamy, did you take that right? I told? I just did. Okay, from that right, take a U-turn. 
you should take one more U turn, yeah. Yeah. What do you see in front of you? You should see a handsome looking guy talking on the phone. What do you see? I don't, I'm not sure about handsome, but I do see a guy. Yeah, that's me. Uh, hello, Ramaswamy. Ramaswamy, hey, how are you? Hey, Gopal. Myself, Rahul. Myself, Gopal. Pleasure to meet you. Ramaswamy tells me you're stressed out these days. Yeah, man, the work pressure, the city life, it's gotten into me. I really do need a break. Yeah, stress in the city, it's quite natural. That's why I'm settled in Audible now. But hey, you're here now. I have plenty of activities planned for you, so just take this time to relax and have fun, yeah? Mm. So, what? we'll be going to a couple of workshops first, so I'll fill you in on the details when you go to each one, yeah? Ah, okay. Nice. This way. Ah, good morning. Good oh, morning. good morning. These are my friends, Ramasamy and Rahul. Hello. Hello. If you could please take them through your workshop and how show them how you make the these jewelries you make. Please. Oh, of course. So this is some of the jewelry we make ourselves. Whoa. Whoa, these look so cool. What are they made of? You won't believe it, but this is made out of coconut shells. Coconut? Huh? Whoa. I mean, I, I get you use the actual coconut bit of it, like for like coconut milk, coconut burfi, but the shell, isn't it useless? It's useless, right? Nothing is useless unless you decide it's useless. Weren't you amazed when you saw all this jewelry for the first time? I mean, yeah. Exactly. All we need to do is pause and think for a moment before we throw something in the waste. If we'd done this earlier, we wouldn't have had as many lances as we, ha as we have right now. She does have a point, you know? Yeah. Exactly. Everything we think is waste has the potential to be something beautiful. All it needs is some effort from our side. Wow. I agree. Oh. Let me tell you, making these jewelry is certainly not an easy job. I'm so proud of you guys. Could I wear that? It looks wonderful. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much. Wow, we look beautiful. I agree. Okay, thank you so much for taking them through the workshop. I we'll head to the next one? Yeah, along this way. Hello there, we just came back from Sadna Forest. Do you know where the bakery is? Oh, Sadna Forest, Sadna Forest. It's hard not to go there when you're in Orville, right? But it's just a forest. What's the big deal about a forest? It's a man-made forest. It's a restoration project and a sustainable way of living. People there practice an eco-friendly way of life, including veganism, alternative construction, solar energy, biodegradable toiletries, compost toilet, conscious consumption and a vegan cow sanctuary. But what did you guys do there? We planted uh, seven to eight saplings there. We wanted to give back to nature as it's given us so much more. I truly appreciate your effort. It is truly commendable. The, w uh, the bakery is along this way. Thank you. I shall see you guys later. Along this way. Mm. Uh, Gopal, I actually wouldn't mind doing that activity. At when can we go? At Sa Sadhana Forest. Yeah, sure, we can uh, head out for lunch, but let's just finish the workshops first. Oh, yeah. sorry. Ah, my friends, welcome to the instrument making workshop. Please enjoy yourselves. Good morning, fellas. Could you just take them through the workshop, please? You mentioned instruments. Where are the instruments? These are the instruments. What? Hmm. What do you... This actually sounds so beautiful. Music to my ears, Ramaswamy. Beautiful. Uh, Ramaswamy, it's a flute. Oh. You play it, not tap it, not a drumstick. Music to my ears. But where do you find the time to do all of this? Like, how? How do you think of doing all of this? Time is always available to us. We just never use it when we have the opportunity to. Oh my God, philosophy. <coughs> wow. You guys are lucky. 
I don't get these profound thoughts when I ask her all this. When have you ever asked me? Okay, moving on. Thank That's you cool. so much. I think we can move on to the next workshop. Next, ah, right here. Guys, welcome to the pottery workshop. Please feel free to look around. Um, are you both interested in pottery? Not really. I've never made anything in my life. Well, oh. that's a shame. It's a lovely and reflective experience. Reflective? You're making pots. How is that reflective? Not if you're looking at it that way. What way should we look at it then? When we make our pots, it's all in the way we move our hands that decides the shape of our pots. That's when we realized even the smallest things can cause such a drastic change. Wow, such echoing philosophy. I know, right? Yeah. Well, I really appreciate your thoughts and the philosophy made our days very philosophical. I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Can we take that pot? <laughs> can I take this uh, peacock? It's a peacock. Can I take this? Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so guys, are you enjoying, enjoying your day? Yeah, but I'm really hungry. Well, we have just a couple more workshops. We'll just finish that. This chocolate is jolly good. Chocolate? Huh? That's the first thing you say when you see people on the street with chocolate. It's chocolate. Why would I not ask? Anyways, where did you get the chocolate from? We got it from the chocolate factory in Audible. Chocolate? Chocolate, chocolate factory? Well, yeah. yeah. Isn't that where you get chocolate from? Wow. Well, being someone who has been to the chocolate factory at Audible, let me tell you, it's a fascinating experience, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went there the other day. See, we've always eaten chocolates, but never wondered where they're made or how they're made. Take one, take one. It's really good. Once we saw the process, we knew exactly how much we underestimate, underestimated how these chocolates were made. Take one. Too good, too good. It's okay. very good. And you know, one fascinating thing about this whole thing is that 90% of their workers are females. Mm. But the main highlight are the 17 different type of chocolate flavors they give us. Hey, Gopal. Yes. After we finish everything, we should go get some chocolate. Yeah, sure. But we have one more workshop. Let's oh. finish that first. Yeah. This chocolate's too good, man. Wow. I reckon we can put them in that pot we got. Oh, yeah. But I have a peacock. Okay, fine. Ah. This is my personal favorite. It may be the last, but it certainly is the best. Oh. Welcome to the jam making workshop, guys. Wow. Good morning. Good morning. That, I mean, that's good and all. Jam workshop, brilliant. But we all know Kisan Jam is the king of all jams. Like, is it, isn't this pointless? My god, pointless. Hold, hold, hold my peacock. Okay, go for it. Kisan Jam, king of jams. Right? Have a taste of this and repeat that sentence. Hey Rahul, what happened to you? Are you awake? Jam that good. Uh. Yeah. Wow, this is so good. Of course it's good. This is Arusvai Jam. It has zero preservatives. It has freshly organic hand-picked fruits from our garden and 20% less sugar than Kisan. As he said, all our fruits are season-based and hand-picked from our own farm. Next, the fruit is cut into even pieces to ensure a, a even cooking process. The fruits are cooked over a wooden fire to infuse it with a smoky flavor. Finally, the jams are sealed and upside down for vacuum sealing. Now they're ready to hit the shelves and make some customers really happy. I couldn't agree more with you guys. Yeah, so I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Still think Kisan is the king of jams? What is a Kisan? Exactly. I like this guy. He's a funny man. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. I think we'll see you at lunch at the main hut. Yes, please. Let me go and give, give back this spoon, man. Free jam. <laughs> <laughs> I am very sorry. Thank you. Ah. Uh, Ram Swami, one second, pa. Ah. Wherever we go. We always get things for free. For once, why don't you open your wallet and give people some business? Okay. Paytm or GPay? Paytm, Taro. Thank you for the jam. Okay, guys. See you. Gopal, take the pots. Oh, my peacock. 
Well, it's been a long day. Are you guys hungry? Definitely. Well, I think we can head to the main hut for lunch. I could eat a horse, honestly. I would, but I'm vegetarian. Well, we are vegan, so it's gonna be good. Yeah. Uh, guys, this way. Please take a seat. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the main hut. Before we begin our lunch, I expect all of you to have a moment of silence. Thank you. We may all begin to eat now. Do you do this every day? Yeah. But why? What's the point? Silence is very important. We tend to realize what kind of person we have been throughout the entire day in that silence. That helps us remind of what things we should be grateful for and instead of not having what. That is really is philosophical. This day has been so philosophical, guys. Very much. I should write a book. Yeah. Since you guys have been in Audible, why don't you share your experiences? Well, ever since I've been in Audible, I've learned that the value of silence and knowing that needs are more important than wants has really helped me understand the true beauty of life. Enlightening thoughts, Rahul. Very proud of you. Ramaswamy, thoughts? I realized how much Nature gives people happiness in Oroville. So true. Aristotle 1, Aristotle 2. Plato. Well, thank you. Well, too bad you guys are leaving today. I heard you guys having have only one day off from the office, huh? Yeah, difficult. Well, if you're moving, if you ever think about moving to Oroville, just give me a call, huh? Definitely. I will definitely call you. Until next time, huh? <coughs> wait, 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 wait. What's up, man? What up? Drum circle. What? Drum circle, yeah. Sorry, I, to I totally forgot. Have you guys heard of a school called KC High? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, the 10th grade kids from there had come to Orville for a field trip, and we did this activity with them, and they truly enjoyed it a lot. Would you all also want to okay. take part? Yeah, why not? Can you just explain everyone the rules? Yeah, yeah. So, this will be your last activity of the day. So of uh, all of Audible, right? So before we start, please take a quick moment to reflect on the pottery, the jam making, the coconut shell making, all of that, right? <laughs> all right. So now let's get started. So first, I will set a beat using these sticks. You guys will follow. If I do this motion, that means that you will, you will have to stop, okay? Uh, does everyone understand the rules? Uh, yeah, okay. uh, we request the audience also to join in with us. Use you your can hands. use your hands. Please. Yes, thank you so much. So thank Thank you, Great Ten, for this amazing play. We hope you enjoyed. Could we please give them another round of applause? This assembly would have been difficult to pull off without the support of our grade 10 drama students, Rehan, Advait, Hinaya, Samyukta, and Mukundan, and Tanya. So, and a special thanks are in order for Rehan Ferdinand for his tireless work on improving the script. So, uh, now we request everyone to rise for the national anthem.
just take a brief moment to appreciate everyone who's helped us behind the scenes uh, for arranging everything. Sam Anna, Shrikant Anna, Jagan Anna, and Madhi Anna, and the facilitators team uh, for recording Selvan Anna, uh, for helping with the singing practice, Paul, sir, and thank you to Sareem and Vyas for playing the instruments. Thank you.